Now I'm ready. Hello, everybody. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ages Aftershock. We're uh, we're here to talk uh, episode five. Yeah. What did you think about this one, man? This was a mixed bag for me. I like that we got some answers. We sort of got Ghost Rider doing some stuff. The back of my chair is broken, so I'm having to move it around a lot. <laughs> we sort of got some answers for Ghost Rider. Um, or, uh, not answers, but we got some action for Ghost Rider. Yeah. I'll say that. We got, uh, we got a little bit more uh, into his backstory, kind I'm, of, but not really. <laughs> I'm still super not... Uh, trusting the director, so I don't really know how this is going to work out. Yeah, um, well, I mean, let's get into, we can touch on that first. Um, so Gemma has her lie detector test, um, right. which, you know, they start asking her about, like, you know, is she keeping secret? I don't remember exactly what the question right. was. Um, fun fact, though, did you recognize, you probably didn't recognize the voice, but... Uh, the voice of the dude doing the lie detector test is the guy who does the voice of Garrus Vicarian in the Mass Effect series. I did not know that. Yes. Uh-huh. It was super cool to see him doing something, so I was like, ah! <laughs> Always good to hear Garrus again. But, like, right as she's about to, like, try to, can like, tell a lie or something, like, the director comes and he's like, hey, I need you to come with me. And apparently he had this big TV interview set up and he was like, I need you to kind of like, you know, feed me some things yeah. to say. Even though he he didn't listen to a thing she no, said. No, he, he did. He adapted it into a more easily uh, understandable version. Because if you'll notice, he started parroting the statistics afterwards. See, that's yeah. what a good manager can do. They can hear what the uh, person who knows the statistics and everything says, and then is able to churn it back for everybody so that they can just kind of understand it in a very approachable fashion. Yeah. So he's got me sold for that, but I still really, really distrust him. Well, he apparently there was something where he became kind of a public figure where he saved a bunch of people. He saved some people at the... uh, uh, apparently in uh, Avengers 2, or Civil War, where the Sokovia building was bombed, or the Sokovia Act was bombed, and he saved some people there. And it was, uh, apparently that was somehow a lie. Like, Jim uh, picked up that he was lying when he was talking about some part of it. Uh, well, that's what I'm kind of interested in is what part, because a lot of this is publicly recorded, so I don't know if he just... Well, well there was, like, pictures of him and stuff that right. they were showing. Well, then again, you get into the part of how do you judge someone lying about something, because if he doesn't believe that he was a hero for this, yeah, that then could be it. in his mind that would translate as a lie. Um, he says, I was a hero for doing this. Also, or, that, I stood up by my hero. Whatever. Like, that woman was back just... Spitting a hate speech, and he's like, you know what? Yeah. He he finally just he he let the cat out of the bag. He's like, you know what? No, I'm inhuman. Yeah. I, and he was like, I'm trying to make this, you know, a better place for everybody. Yeah. And I think he does believe that. Like he he seems like he wants to try. It's just ah, uh, I'm gonna yeah. have to feel this guy out because. But he's, then he can, he comes back after the interview and he's all like that buddy buddy boss and it's like oh by the way your scores weren't so great why don't you take that lie detector test again and then for like us? here comes like Simmons been like I know you were lying during part of that and yeah da, 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 like man Simmons she's kind of she's stepping yeah. up her game here. Um, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of this season, this new director is uh, kicked out or in some way shoved aside, and Simmons ended up being head of S.H.I.E.L.D. Maybe. I'm still trying to see where they're they're going with him, because he's nothing like his comic counterpart. Well, there you get into the whys and hows of how they handle these people as a comic book character and the not-comic book character, yeah. so... 
I'm um, not averse to them doing something different. I would like to see them uh, kind of respect the original character creation. Well, the original Jeffrey Macy had no powers whatsoever, right. and he was just, he replaced Cap once or twice. Right. Uh, I mean, that could be where they're maybe trying to go with him. I just, I don't know. Was he one of the ones that took up, uh, that Cap talked about in the Winter Soldier book, where uh, he was talking about a couple of people who filled in the role of Captain America while he was frozen in ice, like in the 60s and 70s? I think so. Okay, yeah. Um, That was around the time that the character was mainly in the comics. Yeah, yeah. He's come back once or twice, but... Right. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm not really, I'm still not sure what to think about this guy. He, <laughs> he just really strikes me as that, that one kind of boss that you all, everybody knows this kind of boss. Everybody's had him. Uh, the one who will be your best friend in the whole wide world. Walk up and go, how you doing, Jared? What's up in your life? Don't. You're giving me Kroger flashbacks. Exactly. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting PTSD flashbacks to previous managers, and it's like, God, I just... Stop it. <laughs> we both know this isn't who you are. Quit trying to be this. Yeah. You're not my friend. No. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm still... Jury's still out on where he is as a character and how he's going to react with, but... Uh, I I want to give him a couple more episodes. Like I think he yeah. I hopefully think, we'll have some episodes. You said we were going to get answers next episode on Ghost Rider. Yes. So and it's long overdue. Um, very true. Like this episode, uh, they pretty much just focused. There was only two storylines running this episode. It was yeah. I like that this was a very simple uh, actiony episode. It to was like that was maybe. What we just talked about was maybe 10 minutes of stuff. And then the rest of the time we have the prison. Yeah, where where they're trying to bust out uh, Ghost Rider's uh, uncle. Well, they weren't really trying to bust him out. Like, they had stuff to transfer him, but we figure out the ghost had gotten there first. Right. Uh, Because they found the Darkhold, but they can't use it because of their... Spectre-like form. Yeah, I guess the Darkhold doesn't recognize Spectres, so the uh, Darkhold is uh, spectrally racist? I guess. I guess. Uh, we... Because we see, like, when they originally found the book, like, the two f- found the book at the beginning of the episode. That was a flashback. And apparently this book your native language, like your most prominent yeah, language. Yeah, I, I actually really like that idea. Can, I thought that was a neat concept, how they kind of introduced like that. Like, one guy saw it in German, and the woman saw it in, in English. English. Yeah. I like that I like that concept. I like that idea. Um, I was a little put off by the whole dirt rising thing, or the little enchantments floating yeah. up from it. It's like... <laughs> I was looking at that going, he's like, really, it took him this long to find this damn thing? I'm pretty sure some hobo walking down here would find this at, <laughs> at random. So. Uh, I think it was, like, in the house of somebody who. They said it like, was the house of the last person who uh, had it. Yeah. Um, so. And then, like, the whole time, uh, like, and then we cut to the scene. That where the guy is like seeing specters and he's like, like he calls it's like, where's the book? We know you. She woke you up. Yeah, how's about that nurse who was there for every bit of uh, a scene and then gone? It's like, <laughs> please, sir, you're you're not helping this thing. Oh, I guess I'll just go away then. <laughs> oh, oh, he's dead. Yeah, okay. it's just like, well, I was due for a smoke break anyway. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Uh, but we, we finally do, uh, we get, Fitz came up with a cure for them. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure how, uh, I'm, I'm not going to pretend I'm like a super ghostology expert, but that came about rather quick. <laughs> it was like, we need the cure, we have the cure. Yeah, but that's a 
painful. You gotta like jam it in the back of your skull and yeah. Well, then again, May something like, like that. Uh, yeah, like, I love May's little one liner. Oh, quit being a wimp. Yeah. <laughs> no, I. I'm really, I'm really glad May is still in this show. She's the one of the few grounding forces for everything. Like when Daisy's sitting there having her pity party at the end, and she's just like, "Grow the fuck up." Pretty much. Um, what do you think about, um, Coulson kept asking her, he's like, what'd you see when you died? What'd you see when you died? And, like, she just finally blurted out, you. And it was I like, think she just said that to get him off her back, and I actually really like how the show handled this, because a lot of shows want to take it differently. It's like, oh, I didn't see anything. There's nothing but darkness on the other side. And in this one, they're just like, you know what? We're not talking about it. We're moving past it. They took the uh, looper time travel conversation approach. <laughs> if we have this conversation, we're going to be sitting here all goddamn day with straws and string stretching it out all over the place. <laughs> and I really, really liked that idea. And I was like, you know what? I, that's good. <laughs> we don't need to have this conversation in the middle of a prison riot. And Colson keeps asking about it. So finally she just said, you know what? Screw it. Here's your answer. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> uh Besides that, uh, really the only other part was uh, we got to see uh, Robbie and Mac team up. That was uh... yeah, that was that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. I I like how it kept more focus on Robbie instead of Mac because we know Mac is going to be a stable person in this. We know he's going to be fine. Yeah, but with Robbie and I'm guessing it is the spirit of vengeance in this. He was having a because hard yeah, time. he was in he was, he was in maximum security prison and you could just see him shaking and they wanted to leave him behind. They were like, "Okay, you say, you know, you only give it to people who's like guilty. You have a a room like a building full right. of guilty people." And he's like, "My uncle can't know what I am. I'll be fine." And you know, it is a good thing he was there. Cause yeah, I like he's... the argument. I like the fact that they actually gave a legitimate argument to it. It's like, look, he's the only thing we have that can actually hurt these assholes. We're gonna need and him. He he kills all of them right. except the woman. There's one left. Yeah, she's the only um, one now. Uh, uh, I do like that. Like he he grabbed no. the chain and whipped it yeah, and I, set the guy on I was like I'm really liking okay. the fact that Ghost Rider is the one who can hurt these with the ethereal powers yeah. and so when they have a spectral being he's the one that is able to deal damage to them yeah I know they're technically not spectral beings right now we still aren't sure what they are but for the intents and purposes of this show right now they're ghosts yeah so the fact that Ghost Rider is the one, that, only one who's able to deal with him, I'm really happy about. Yeah, and then we get him... But at the same time, I understand and recognize this is a crush to have Ghost Rider in the show at this point. There's practically no other reason. Because <laughs> once they deal with this other ghost, they're going to have to find a really, really good reason to keep Ghost Rider in this series. Uh, the Dark Hole will have something to do with it. Maybe. Maybe it'll turn out like Mephisto pops up and is like, Bruh, I'm taking your grand fear uncle soul to hell with me! Well, we're, we're gonna see next week, you know. Yeah, because we found out that uh, him and his brother were both in a uh, 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 straight uh, drive-by. Yeah, they were in a drive-by and set on fire uh, after they riddled the car with bullets. So I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this because on one hand I'm like... I like the idea that Ghost Rider survived, but on the other hand, you set a car on fire after machine gunning two kids down in the middle of the street, and all the kid gets off with is the fact that he can't use his lower half of his torso anymore? I think... No offense, that's a good deal! <laughs> but, um... Well, now, if it turns out that it's like the rider is what protected them both, and that's, that's how what, they work it, I'm okay with that. That's what I'm thinking, because they said, uh... The next day, the whole gang was killed. Right. Um, so, he runs into, like, the last member of this gang. Yeah. Um, and it turns out that the, the, that on Robbie and his brother was a hit. Right. Somebody contracted oh. them, the gang to try to kill them. 
And they really haven't said, I think that's what we're going to get into next week. Right. But I think that was probably the moment Robbie was possessed with the spirit of Ghost Rider. Um, probably, we're probably going to end up seeing something happen before that, because I don't imagine the Ghost Rider just popping up and saying, Hey, you know those assholes who uh, almost killed you and your brother? I can help you with that. I think it may tie back to the car, because that's what it was in the yeah, comic. Yeah, you're right. Um, it could be uh, maybe the spirit event. Like, uh, besides Johnny Blaze, like, um, the other the other popular Ghost Rider, the, the guy found the bike, and the bike had the spirit of vengeance in it. So well, they could do, they like, the car had the spirit of vengeance in it, or... You know, it could be the a uh, different serial killer, but <laughs> you know what? I would love to see how that car commercial works out. <laughs> Come on down to Crazy Stance Auto Sales. I'm so crazy, I've got the spirit of vengeance locked in a nineteen sixty nine charger. Woo! Keep it in the glove compartment. <laughs> Smoke your enemies with fire and brimstone. <laughs> Good. Can we do like a car <laughs> commercial with you doing that? I like, want. <laughs> I need you with a cowboy hat on. Yeah, I need. I need. I need a. I need a vest at the very least. Big ten gallon hat, belt buckle the size of a Belgian waffle. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> well done. Sir. Uh, I'm down. <laughs> Crazy stays auto sales right off the corner of 79th and Hale. <laughs> oh man uh, and but we do get to see um, in the episode with Rob, Robbie just couldn't resist like torching the yeah, last guy I, and that caused his uncle to get get yeah, kicked out by the ghost <laughs> I don't know at the same time I was just like you know this seemed really really preventable yeah if all, you, you, had all a, you really had to do was, was just kind of jog him up there and say look there he is I gotta go do something real quick. I'll be right back. And then walk back as Ghost Rider and just go... Bruh! Yeah. I don't know. It just... Uh, that that was kind of like... Eh, nah, I'll let it go. Um, what do you think about like Daisy and her pity party like trying to... Like just fight all the watchdogs in jail. I'm with May. Myself? I'm with May on this. <laughs> Just don't, okay? It never ends well. It doesn't hurt help anybody in the long run. And Coulson won't let it happen. Exactly. He's he's not going to let you just throw down and be emo, all right? Just put your big girl pants on and suck it the fuck up. And she didn't even use her, like, she had her gauntlets back. I was like, okay, just... Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. I was just like, okay, so she's Done. got some. She's got these uh, basically racist. She got the redneck racists on her tail there. All she has to do is just turn around and go. Fah! But apparently, her arm isn't healed because we do see that the cast is still on it. Yeah, I and guess. I guess like they're going to get to like she like is going to have to let her hands heal or and not use her powers for a little bit. Or she could permanently damage her arms and, you know, just jelly arm for the... <laughs> I, I don't know that maybe the route they're going with it. I don't... Maybe... I don't know. I think... I hate to say this. I think they ended up blowing their special effects wad on Ghost Rider and all his stuff. Yeah. And they're kind of not having a lot of money to go around otherwise. So. Man, her choreography, her fight choreography was pretty good. Though. I will admit, that looked, she, that was a good fight scene. She got in and kicked, kicked some ass. And I do like, uh, I like that we got to see Coulson's little hand shield again. Yeah, like, no, that popped up and I was like, because of course Coulson has a Captain America style uh, laser shield. Well, he had it last season too. He used it. Did he? Um, he used it when, uh, the house fell on him. Him and May, uh, when they went to Hellfire's house and, like, Hellfire blew it up and, like, they jumped in, like, the bunker. I must have missed this episode. It, it was, like, that was the only other time we've seen the shield. And, uh, 
It was it was Fitz's idea. He's like, well, he thought the director of Shield should have a shield, and it has like the little laser shield. With the I guess I missed logo. this episode because this is the first I ever saw of it, and I was uh, like, well, if you're going to incorporate something from the '90s comic book era, it might as well be Captain America's laser shield. And if somebody's going to wield the laser shield, it damn well better be somebody who loves Captain America as much as I yeah. do. So. <laughs> Uh, I was really happy to see that. It, it's the second time. Um, the other time, it was like the episode Hellfire got his powers. Oh. Like he had something under his house that Hive needed. Okay. And like they they go to try to get to him first, but Hive's already turned him into a he, inhuman and mm. brainwashed him. And so like they go to, I think it was Daisy knocked the house down on him and like they dived into the hole where this thing dude had was and that's he threw the shield up to protect him and May. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll work with it. Why not? <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much all that ha Or and we got the, the last scene with uh, Jeffrey and Yeah, I was about to say we had, need to talk uh, about this uh, ending which I... I'm kind of mixed about it because it further reinforces me not trusting this guy. Well, it's like he was like, okay, like the whole time, like she was trying to smear him on TV. She was like, well, uh, and she was talking about like they were there in the prison. Right. And then it, she has like camera footage of Quake and uh, of them working with Daisy. Right. And then uh, Ghost Rider burning that dude alive. Right. All, see, therein lies the biggest problem. It's like, all you really had to do was say, was come out when she releases this and say, yes, we were performing an operation there. We were trying to do something, I don't know, create some kind of bullshit answer that the media will accept. Well, He's good at public media relations. Well, that's what he said. Like, she, she said something during their their interview and he's like we have it handled right we, we are there on the ground like we have the situation under control right all but, you have to do is disavow yourself of the ghost rider and just be like look i don't know who this guy is we, we're... yeah with daisy they could just go well she is a former agent that is we or she, they could list her as like a deep cover asset yeah or an outside uh 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 friend I think it's but just better word for friend. I think it's just because like she is like an unregistered inhuman. She hasn't signed the accords. They're not tracking her. It could be. I don't know. Um, like it's because like she's a big media thing because she was like, well, I'm not gonna do this Shields way. I want to take down the Watchdogs. Right. And like that's all she wanted to do, and she wouldn't go. Do do it Shield's way, yeah. Um, but like we saw, Jeffrey had no clue about Ghost Rider, and right. she was like, "I'm gonna release this to ABC News." And like, yeah, I love how that's the first one she goes to. Is yeah, ABC News is gonna have this. I'm like, really? You you couldn't pull in like a bigger news studio? You got uh, ABC. I, I know yeah, it's ABC it owns it. Plug, but yeah, it's like um, okay, uh, all right, whatever. But, uh, and then he, you know, he looks at her and he's like, what do you want? Yeah. To, to shut you up. Yeah, it's, that's what really pulls me back to where it's like, God, just let me know if I can trust this idiot. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't, I don't care if he's good or evil, just let me know one way or the other so that I, as an audience member, can be like, oh, I just... <laughs> <sighs> I want to know whether or not I can hate this guy or not. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm tired of uh, being waffled back and forth, so... I mean, if Coulson trusts him, I'm assuming we should trust him, but... Yeah, but at the same time, Coulson also trusted Ward, so... We can't be totally yeah. sure whether or not this is going to be another one of those times, or if they're going to try and fall back on that. Well, you know, you didn't know who was Hydra and who wasn't. Like, that was uh, like a... A very... That was a long game. I know. I but. know. I, I can see what you mean. But, uh, I... I'm... I'll give it, like, two more weeks. They're probably, like, especially next week and the week after, I think they're gonna play heavily on the mysticism and... Yeah. The book, like... 
Uh, I think Robbie might end up having some confrontation with his uncle because his uncle's eyes just like lit right up when he started. Yeah, reading I don't know the if that's Dark because Hole. of like the book or what. If it's like the Necronomicon where it just passes you information uh, or what, I don't know. I just I I want to know who to hate. <laughs> Let me know who I can hate. That's what I'm filled with. Uh, I think we're gonna get that next three episodes. Here's open. Yeah, we're 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 gonna get we're gonna know who to hate. And we're gonna get our Doctor Strange tie in. Yeah, somehow. But uh, as they saw in the last video, um, Barry Mordo is in it, but it's not who I thought it was. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, uh, he's gonna be working with Strange, it's the black guy, who was like, we have the Wi-Fi, that's the that's Wi-Fi. That's Mordo? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, they're gonna set him up as, like, you know, an accomplice. Uh, that... If that's the case, then, um, I've been misled by trailer. Um. Because it sets him up as a good guy, and Baron Mordo was somebody who never wanted Strange there. He looked at him with disdain, and... Yeah. Uh, okay, well, we'll talk about that when we um, go see Doctor Strange. And, like, the villain is just kind of one of those, like, side comic villains. Like, I can uh, find very few images of the guy. Like, I have his name up. I can't pronounce it. Why can't we just have Baron Mordo? <laughs> I think we'll get him. He's, like, they're setting him up for, like, second movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you franchise shit. All right, well, all right. Predictions. Uh, I don't have any right now. I don't either. I think we're just gonna have to play this by ear. I think they paid off a lot of our previous predictions. Yeah. And answered uh, any previous questions we have. So right now we're kind of sitting at a no question zone. Yeah. Which um, can be just as dangerous sometimes. But uh, like we're we're just waiting for the Ghost Rider origin. That's. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest thing, which uh, hopefully will pay off next week. Yeah, hopefully. So uh, until then, we will see you guys next week. Later.